What up guys? Today we have Pogba, a guy that you guys have been requesting, a master of skills, a master of shielding, and of course, a master of surprises. And today, what we're gonna do is give you guys a few tips on how you can incorporate some of his great stuff into the game. Let's go. Pogba tried a lot of things before football. He just couldn't seem to fit in. Whoa! Hello. I think uh, Paul's on his way. Oh, there's Paul. There he is. Mr. Pogba. Oh, oh sir. That's not very professional, sir. Paul, we've been really happy with your work here, uh, but we've had some complaints about your handshakes and your greetings. So I'm gonna need you to practice a proper handshake, Paul. Can you do that for me? All right, good job. Take it slow. You got it. He's done. He's fired. Fired? No, nah, no. Nah. We're balling. I don't even think that you know. I'm really getting this dough. I really ride on my woes. I set a pound for the low. She don't know my trap overflow. I'm always smoking this dough. I got these bins on. Yeah! It's on my home. I don't even think that she know. We're starting off with what is most likely Pogba's best attribute, his ability to shield and control the ball in tight space under pressure. And if there's only one thing you take away from this video, it should definitely be to improve on your shielding. The way Pogba puts his body between a man and the ball is key to how he's able to hold off so many defenders. His close ball skills are definitely helping him out, but if you can understand this principle, you can incorporate it into your game, and you ain't gotta be 3,000 feet tall like him. Watch how we first feel for the defender. The more he struggles to reach for the ball, the more control we have over the situation. As they try to get around you, this gives you all the information you need on where the space is. This is of course not a problem when more than one defender comes to pressure you. Switch from one defender to the next using your body to shield and your quick feet to find the space that you just created. Really use your body. Slam it into the defender and keep the ball at a leg's distance as much as possible. If the ball's up under you, then the defender can hit it away and get you off balance. Stand your ground. They can't go through you, and if they do, it's a foul. Just a quick note, Pogba has excellent vision and a very accurate long ball. It's something that the majority of players in the field are always gonna need to improve on. And we made a video that goes in depth on how to expand on your vision and improve your long ball in our Play Like Pirlo video, so check that out if you wanna go more in depth. Now here's another part of Pogba's game that allows him to get out of spaces that some players just might not. You might have noticed that when skillful players are stuck in the corner, even if it's 1v2, they sometimes get out. And you would think that that shouldn't happen, but it definitely does. And it's not always the right option to drill, but sometimes it'll completely break down the defense. If you want to improve on this, then you have to learn to watch the second defender, because he's the one that's going to tell you what to do. Both of the defenders are relying on each other, and when there's a miscommunication, you can split them or even block one defender out entirely. If the second defender dives in, then that's your way out but if he comes to contain then you have to choose a new path whether that's a nutmeg or a split you have to have excellent close ball skill to take on more than one defender but it's part of becoming a creative attacking player don't be predictable take smart risks and go with the defenders if you want to put them under pressure Got the keys, you won't cruise the land, we ripping through the streets. We Once again, we have some crazy sick videos on ballies and shooting out of the air, so make sure to check those out. Pogba's hit some bangers over the last couple of years, and if you really want to get better at these, there's no substitute for practice, because in the game, you have to be decisive and quick. Check out one of my favorite finishing drills where the goal is to settle the ball in the air in a tight space and quickly finish. You can make it challenging by limiting yourself to two or three touches. If you really want to improve on volleys, then this is the type of drill you just straight up have to do. All right guys, so that was play like Pogba. And if you guys want to incorporate that stuff into your game, then you know you've got to train because that's what it's all about. And of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really want to go that extra mile, then you are going to have to put in the work.
same shit, new day. Work hard, more play, same page.